Yeah, what's up, y'all? It's Kagan. It's Randy. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I already had taken my client uh, down. His name is James. Um, I took his hair down to number two with uh, Oscar 76. I took it down already. Uh, right now, I'm going to work on doing the neck taper. And uh, he's going to get a low taper um, on the sides and like a mid taper in the back. So I'm just going to simply pull out my Andis, uh, my Andis liners. My Andis uh, outliner. I line the twos and just go this time go all the way across with it and make my first perimeter just like that and just comb. Remember to always have your comb in there. I had already disinfected my my clipper and straight from there. This is just gonna be an all. This is gonna be an all um, 76 kind of haircut. So from right there, I'm gonna pull out my OA guard. Pull out my my zero A guard. Which is right here, my zero A, Austin guard, and I'm gonna make my next perimeter. Make my ne my next perimeter is probably gonna be about like right there. Right. Just do this real quick. I love using these 76s now just for like quick blends or or whatever. Hey, when it gets to like close to 10 minutes, let me know. Right. So this is the OA. Already. Now what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep my I'm gonna keep my clippers on, and I'm gonna pull out my one. I'm gonna pull out my one A. Tap those on, and make my other my next perimeter after that. All right. These clippers are cut really cut really fast and really clean. Um, you just kind of have to get used to them. I've been using these for about like about four or five months now so although you see it not being blended all the way yet um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to blend this with the with with my 1a I'm gonna just try to blend it with my 1a by not going in so hard by just like grazing the, the, the hair right you kind of want to make sure that you are just kind of lightly grazing it and you don't want to make another perimeter when you're at it and see how active I get with my comb I'm gonna change my guard my guard into uh into my uh one and a half my one and a half blade and just finish off the rest of it the rest of the fade with the one and a half. You know, even though I did just put up a video yesterday about one A and the one and a half, um, like not being the same. I mean, there's still, you know, just that little bit of of cut that it does do. But as far as taking somebody's hair down to a one A or one and a half, there really is no difference. Right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out my Andis. My Andis uh, Fade Master. These are actually the the, uh, the Andis reg the regular master body, but the Fade Master blade. You can see that right there how it's so flat. Now I'm gonna just go all the way open, all the way open meaning long, and that's short uh, or closed meaning short. So I'm gonna go all the way open, and I'm already gonna try to blend out this middle part, this middle area right here. Right, and I'm gonna use the right corner of my blade right here to blend out that corner. It's still it's still in the uh, in the long position, and I'm kind of hitting it at an angle. Right now, I'm gonna go to the left side of the blade. I'm gonna do that real quick, just to get like a really good visual on what on the parts that need to really be blended because once I put that line in there or once you put that line in there it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be nice uh, now I just did it from the last notch to like the middle notch right. and I'm gonna make and I kind of do this sometimes but I'm just gonna go like this and go all the way close you know I mean I still stick with my with my basic uh, like taper techniques or whatnot, you know, from past, but just a little bit enhanced. And then now I'm just gonna simply just try to blend out this middle part right here, just like that. 
remember you have to read the hair and the direction of the hair in order for for uh, the the finer or curly hairs to be cut correctly right this is all the way open now got all the way open just gonna blend that thing out follow my boy right here James on Twitter come get the D <laughs> This is my boy right here, though. For you and a friend. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna go there with. with. I mean, but man, don't let nobody else know. Yeah, I, yeah, no, no, no. You know, trip. I can't. It's just for you and a friend. Don't trip, don't trip. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my uh, speed lines. My speed lines in my 116, and I use my 116 as like a blender too, like or like just to blend stuff out. And like I'm pulling out right now. I'm pulling out. Like I'm going pretty hard in. I, I'm listening for the hair at the same time, and I'm pulling it out. You know, just to get that that perfect blend. You know what I'm saying? Just to get that perfect blend, right? And you see, like how I have my finger held up there like that. I mean, it, it's really your personal preference on how you want to hold your clipper. Like you can hit it with with the position like this and go up. I mean, I do that too. But I don't know, my favorite position to hold the, uh, the speed lines of the fast feeds is just like this. You know what I'm saying? So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go all the way open. I'm just going to go all the way open and just get the little extra hairs that's just hanging. You know what I mean? Make sure you always want to have a comb in your hand for real. Like having a comb in hand is, is what you always need. Like. Like I said before, don't ever hold a brush because that's just really unsanitary. You're using that to clip to wipe your butt, your butt, your uh, your clipper off, and you're using it to like you know wipe your client down. You know it's just the hair just sticks in there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is all the way closed right now. Just a little bit. Just gonna dab it a little bit. Just gonna dab it just a little bit. Now I'm gonna pull out my liners. And for the, those of y'all that know you, that know me, I usually use these, right? But man, I'm, be, I'm gonna have to be all the way honest, dude. These wall detailers, like, I hated these at first, but now, like, I, I'm in love with them. Like, these are my favorite liners right now. All right? Like, they cut so easily, like, in every, in everywhere, right? So, you're gonna read your client's uh, hair just like this right and see where he needs to be where it's going to be like the hardest hitting line at right so i'm just using the full guard on his on his neck right now just the full guard on his neck use the full guard right here and then I'm gonna go use the corner of the T wall wide to T detailers. I'm gonna pull the skin up to get that line perfect. Right? You go forward and you go back. You now, just depending on the way that the hair is and stuff like that. But make sure not to do like a really, you know, you don't want to hit it, hit his around the ear really high. It's just gonna grow back, hella ugly and stuff or whatnot. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much the end of the first half. You know, just to use the left side around the ear. This is the end of the first half of the head. And uh, do the same exact thing which you would do on the other side. But um, now we're gonna get into the into the taper part of his low taper with hooks. Right? But before we end this off, I'm gonna see this hair right here. This hair right here. Just shave that off. You know what I'm saying? And kind of lightweight, just braid it. But for the most part, we're finished, and I'll hit you back with the finished product in a minute after I do the side tank. All right. It's good. It's all good. It's all good.